Hello developers. Today, we are going to build a kit called the Basics of Python, which will help boost your Python learning journey. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of the basic concepts of Python, which you can then use while programming in Python for your projects. Python is the most used programming language in developing most use cases nowadays. Python can do almost anything any other language can do at comparable speeds. This kit has some simple to use exercises in Python to help someone new to learn how to program in Python and get started with their journey. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. So what is a candy kit? Candy one-click install kits gives you a ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on AI, augmented reality, gaming, blockchain, and many more on candy. Today, we'll be using a popular candy kit on basics of Python one click install kit. This kit is open source with a permissive license. That means you can freely edit, customize, and share your own solution. So let's get started. Over to you, Pooja, for the hands-on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you all are excited to build your own Python program. To start your Python journey using the basics of Python kit, you will need the following. An understanding of a high-level language like English, basic understanding of OOPS concepts, an integrated development environment that you can use to write your code, interpret it, and a debugger to help you solve your issues. To help you start your programming journey, all this is already available in the Candy Kit. Let's start by installing the Candy Kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions here to set up the kit. You can now pause this video, complete the installation once ready, hit resume and we'll jump right into building your Python programs. Great. Hope you all are set. If you have successfully set up, you will see this Jupyter Notebook. Let's have a closer look at the notebook. So this first cell has a program for weight conversion. So this basically uses input as one of your functions to take input from the user. So we have taken the weight as an input from the user. And since anyone can enter weight in a decimal form, so we have typecasted it to float and saved it into this variable called weight here. And we have also asked the user whether they are entering the weight in pounds or kgs. This is what the second line shows. Further, we are using the if condition to convert first whatever unit the user has provided into uppercase and checking it if it is in pounds, right, which we have used L to denote. Then we have converted it into the kgs form and then printed it uh, saying that whatever value is there multiplied by the converted form in kilos. Else, we are dividing the weight variable with 0.45. So this is a very, very first simple basic program that you can use to experiment and start uh, your working journey of Python. However, we have also enlisted different programs in the .py format into the same Jupyter notebook that you can just run here. So first I will have to give a value so that my first cell is executed. Only then rest of my cells will get executed. So say I enter the weight at 76. Now it is asking me unit. Say in lowercase, I went in pounds. And it says that you are 34.2 kilos, right? So this is the program that we have discussed. Now, there are a couple of other programs for functions, Boolean, list, etc., and dictionary as well. So we can simply go and check this folder here. And you will see within this individual folder, you will have the .py source code 
So you can have these individual programs here and within these you can start changing and customizing them to learn or I would say to experiment more within the code. Say I have defined a function here called example called this function here. So it says this code will run and the output is 12 simply. You can customize this uh, as per your requirement, change things here or just experiment and uh, inculcate different functions. Maybe you can create a calculator with addition, subtraction, multiplication and division as four functions uh, within a you know, main function of calculation here so that you are able to experiment with different types of uh, different types of programs that are available in Python. There is a program where you can see, wherein you can see that you have different data types which are used in Python like integer, string, float and then we have also helped you with a very very basic difference of how within you write something in the inverted commas in the numeric form becomes a string and simply written as numbers it will be an integer. Also, you have Boolean values, which is true or false. So depending on, you can, uh, you know, check these multiple programs that we have provided and start your learning journey. Instructions have also been pretty much listed in detail within these codes that we have provided to you for your ease and your basic journey to be pretty much more comfortable in Python. Hope you found this session useful. Using a candy kit is a great way to build AI prediction engines. You can find the link to the basics of Python kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on AI, blockchain, augmented reality, and many more. Try out our Candy kits now. Hit the subscribe button and join us at the Open Weaver community of developers to learn to build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session and until the next one, bye-bye.